Alexis. Hey Dylan, how are you? Oh, I'm just fine. Is something wrong? Well, I had this weird dream last night and I'm still trying to recover. Let me guess. You found out you failed last week's algebra test and Mr. Falkinson yelled at you and then you showed up to school in your underwear. That would have been a step up. Sounds bad. Oh, it's the same dream I've been having for a while, every few nights or so. Maybe he's trying to tell you something. Yeah, probably that I should have studied for that algebra test in the first place. <laughs> yeah, that's one way of putting it. Well, I gotta go to first period, but I'll see you at lunch, okay? Okay, see you then. Ah, I told you a million times not to fall asleep during class. But it's just that... You know, this might be the reason you failed your test last week. I'll try harder. And then he yelled at me as if it was my fault. I didn't get very much sleep last night. What did he expect? You can't continue to let these bad dreams get to you. Ignore them. How can I ignore one that's as constant as this one? What's happening in your dreams? Do you really want to know? Yeah, I want help. Okay, well I'm in my bedroom. It's dark, and I'm all alone, and I hear these footsteps. That's him. Who? You've been following me everywhere. Who are you? Dylan. I'm going to kill you. Dylan. What? What do you have to tell me right now that is so important? There's nothing there. Alexis, you have to believe me. I just had him. Listen! You let him get away! Listen to me. You never had him. He is just a figment of your imagination. And to physically touch him is impossible. Alexis, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you or yell at you. I've just been really stressed lately, and not that that's an excuse. I'm not mad at you for having bad dreams, but once you get mad at me for trying to help, you cross the line. I forgive you, but don't do it again. Alexis, that is, if you're the one who finds me. I'm sorry for yelling at you. I'm sorry I hurt your feelings. You, you were the only friend I had in this world, and I lost that. This is all because of that stupid dream. When I said I was having it for a while, I meant I'd been having it ever since I was little. I don't know what it means, and I intend to die before I find out. I can't live like this anymore. It's a nightmare every day, and it only gets worse and worse. I'm sorry I can't express how bad I feel for hurting you, but this is what needs to happen. This is what I'm supposed to do. Don't blame it on yourself. You're the only person I love in this world. Maybe someday we'll see each other again, but please don't try to make it come any sooner. Enjoy your life. You aren't the one who's living a nightmare. Sincerely, Dylan.